Hi, I'm Steve Thomas, and we're here in Florida's Grassy Key. And the challenge here is to build a decking system for some very unusual clients. <laughs> Dolphin Research Center was founded in 1984, and it was founded as a nonprofit organization to essentially give unwanted animals a home. Animals that stranded, animals that couldn't live in different places, they come in here to live forever. This is her forever home. Ready? We're going in here. It's essential that we do this for this wonderful species. And here at Dolphin Research Center, we have been doing that for decades. Here, give me your flipper. Where's that one? You just kind of point to come it. Come on. Oh. Good nice. Boy. Nice. He's probably, look, he's, he wants want? another one. Oh, you want another one? Oh. You're a big man. You want me to rub your belly? Come on. What do you think that is? Oh, oh. I like that, huh? You do. <laughs> All right, Pax. Here you go. See you in just a minute, okay? So the whole facility is over water, and that means decks. Mm -hmm. Currently pressure treated. Some of it is reaching the end of its service life, and you're looking for an alternative that's longer lived to replace it with. Right, uh, look, uh, you can pressure treat wood all you want, but eventually the elements are gonna get to it. So to us, a synthetic product can be the best thing for the future. So this is a series about building materials, challenges, and solutions, and the challenges here are significant. They are, Steve. Uh, one of the things the Dolphin Research Center came to uh, Zuri Decking Royal Building Products about nine months ago, they wanted to solve some major problems they were having with their outdoor decking. Uh, they chose Zuri Decking to move forward with their new visitor center, and they chose that because of the exotic feel and look and the low maintenance aspect of the product. So walk us through the actual product itself. Steve, the actual product is ma all manufactured by Royal Building Products. We extrude the core, so that's a separate piece. This is a three-part process. The second part is an outdoor foil, a high-performance foil that we control. And that's got the print of the wood printed on it. It does. We, it's, it's made in five colors. It's capped with an acrylic surface. That acrylic surface gives the slip resistance and the high performance. All right. And then it comes as a system, which I like. You've got this edge detail here. And when you put it all together, you don't have to make up or fabricate any of the parts. That's correct. There's a bunch of different ways to put it down, but the most common and the fastest way is with one of these tools, and that guides the toe screwing. And you can move pretty fast with two guys. Two guys can put up a big deck in about a day. Now you've got a new variation of that same product. We do. This is, uh, this is the groove board. This is our Zuri groove board. Now what separates this from a lot of other products in the industry is this is actually manufactured. This grooved product, this grooved core is manufactured. So this is extruded it's with extruded. the grooves in it. So it's finished, right. It's not routed like a lot of other products in the industry. Manufactured the same way, we extrude the core, we have the outdoor foil that goes over, over the top, and we finish that with an acrylic surface. And then you got this cool fastening system, which I think is really ingenious. You got these little blocks, and they wedge into the V groove there and then you toe screw it with a stainless screw like that and then the next course of decking just notches into that and you repeat the process and, and that moves quickly too It does. Uh, and then you don't have the penetrations in the edge of the board. That's correct. It's a great system. Our customers love it but they also love this. This is our inlay program. We've got some stock inlays that we use uh, for our customers. Uh, we've got a compass rose, a Celtic knot, but the unique thing about our program is that we can do something custom to whatever you or your homeowner wants. This is the Dolphin Research Center logo. As you can see, it's big and massive. We're centering it right in front of the entrance. So it is in place. That's where it wants to be, and now it's just a matter of working in the deck boards around it. Yes. So let's give Jack a hand. Okay, great. The first step is to install this site-built beam compass, which we'll use to transfer the radius of the medallion to the deck boards. Now the idea here is that you can use it to scribe your boards, like that. We double check for accuracy, and it's right on. Now we're ready to scribe the first deck board. We cut it to length, slide it into place, and make sure the spacing is consistent. Now we use the compass to make our line.
We cut it with a jigsaw, smooth with a drum attachment, and radius the edge with a compact router. And we test the fit. Nice. We toe screw the deck board into place with a camo tool. Then we mark the next board, cut, and test fit, and make the necessary adjustments. Drum sand it just a hair. I'll be right back with it. Then we sand, radius, and slide it home. Once we've got the procedure dialed in, it's rinse and repeat. So what do you think? I think it's absolutely beautiful. You know, the first thing you see when you walk into this building, it's that gorgeous logo. I like it, but you know what? I, I don't make the decisions here. I have to go check with my bosses. So, should I make the decision? <laughs> Wait a minute, I wanna make the decision. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you positive? <laughs> All right, uh, they made the decision. They absolutely love it. I can't make a decision around here. <laughs> Oh, flashing, 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 flash, and looking up and go.